Welcome to the presentation of our recent work at ICRA 2020 with the title From Key Positions to Optimal Basis Functions for Probabilistic Adaptive Control. Our work contributes to the field of learning from demonstration, which aims at learning new robot behavior from as few demonstrations as possible. In the illustrated application, the robot is supposed to place an object with a complicated shape into a box. We investigate the idea of asking a user to provide only key pauses as snapshots along the desired robot trajectory instead of demonstrating the full trajectory to program a new task, as shown in the video. We developed a learning pipeline that translates the recorded key pauses into a multi-model probability distribution of trajectories. This shows clear advantages over learning from full trajectories, even in dynamic scenarios that demand robot agility, as can be seen in this video. In the following, I will highlight the two technical contributions that enable learning from key poses. First, we propose a new type of basis functions, also known as movement primitives in the context of learning from demonstration. When linearly combining these basis functions with a set of key positions from a demonstration, they form the analytic solution to a linear optimal control problem. With this formulation, one demonstration is a direct sample of the basis function weights that we want to learn, since a single basis function is weighted by a single key position. The user only records the positions on the demonstrated trajectory, which they perceive to be necessary to achieve the task, namely the key positions. The user therefore implicitly sets the number of movement primitives. This setup comes with the advantage that the recorded data is not corrupted by imperfections due to kinesthetic teaching. This addresses and eliminates the trade-off between high resolution and data efficiency that comes with conventional basis function representations, such as radio basis functions. With this kind of uninformed basis functions, the corresponding weights have to be estimated from full trajectories. In order to recover a full trajectory from the demonstrated key poses, an essential step in our framework is to derive the duration between each consecutive pair of key poses, here denoted by H. We formulate this as an optimization problem, minimizing the total duration of the movement. In this animation, the black bolt bar, subject to velocity and acceleration constraints. We use sequential for quadratic programming to solve this nonlinear optimization problem. We tested the proposed approach within a user study with first time robot users. We asked two different groups of eight participants to provide key post demonstrations and full trajectory demonstrations, respectively. In both cases, the users are supposed to show how to grasp the object and how to place it in one of the boxes. Given these two sets of collected demonstrations, we then learn our probabilistic adaptive controller for the given task in an offline manner. We test the two controllers in six unseen test scenarios. One of these is shown in this video where the position of the object changes while the robot approaches the object. This example demonstrates that our learned controller is able to adapt to such dynamic scenarios. Note that this robot behavior is learned from only four key post demonstrations given by a first time robot user. On the right, we show the quantitative results of our user study. The proposed approach is able to generate equal success rates with only half the number of demonstrations. This indicates a drastic improvement in terms of sample efficiency. Moreover, compared to the full trajectory approach, learning from key poses only produces much smoother trajectories on the fly, which is reflected in the effort metric. This is due to the use of our optimal basis functions. Thank you for attending our talk. And in case of questions, don't hesitate to contact me through the provided links.